Can anger management training really help gorillas avoid extinction? Perhaps, but it's not doing much for the psychiatrists. The Apes of Wrath today on the Six Ad Cast. <laughs> Uh, as I live and breathe, it is a uh, a six ad cast for Thursday, March twenty six, two thousand twenty, and oh boy, we are neck deep in this coronavirus self quarantine thing. Um, but we're not quarantined because uh, on my left is my other half, Manuel. Hey, what's up? I'm here remotely, <laughs> not breaking the law. <laughs> and then on my right is my other other half, Sarah. Hey. By the way, I was just kidding. It's not law by any means at all. The stay at home order is almost a suggestion. Have you seen? What they say in the order? Not for us. We're Brazoria, but Harris. I don't ever go and read those things, but they're just like, y'all stay at home. And I figured, oh, I mean, recording a podcast is essential, right? I was listening to the news, and when they said that you could get a ticket or even put in jail, I was like, okay, I need to read this bitch. (laughs) So I never read. I read this. I went and I read all of what what was essential, what was under section one, section two. And they say that you can leave your house. Like, it's just for the, the businesses. Like, they have okay. to close. Like, if it's if you are a non-essential business, you need to go. Okay. Other than that, if you need, to, like, you can also leave if you need to pick up medical stuff, if you need to go to the park for not social gatherings, but go to the park for your outdoor activity. Yeah. You can also just take a ride if you want to, just for mental health, health and safety. Not some. No one's gonna pull you over, but if something does go down, it's like I was on my way to the store. What of it? <laughs> okay. Have a good day, <laughs> Sarah. How have you been doing in this whole quarantine thing? Um, so far, so good. Now, if I'm having to stay cooped up here for days on end to look at my ugly mug. No. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I will go crazy. No, don't go crazy. There's so much to do in the house. Do like a photo shoot or something. <laughs> like we make faux engagement pictures. <laughs> it's like this is what we're looking for, but it's, it's, it's fun to start looking at ideas, but then it gets depressing because I can't go out and look at them. It is. I mean, it's already two years in the future but, that we're planning, but it's like I want to go look now. <laughs> <laughs> Your phone takes really good pictures. Uh-huh. Your phone does too. Yeah, but um, take them, put them on Google Photos, and cast them on your TV. Look at them there. Do some really cool ones with portrait mode. <laughs> We're I holding... want to go look at dresses, Manuel. I want to go touch and look and feel and all that stuff, and I can't right now. Okay, yeah, that. And I can't. <laughs> and I can't see my mom. Why not? Because, sorry, mom, but you're a bit up there. It's best. I'm not trying to, to. I'm trying to play it safe for her, for everybody. Yeah. yeah. She lives on a third floor in a, of an apartment complex, and we don't do stairs. <laughs> but well, never mind, because then that would go into. I was going to ask. You know. Why don't you just Skype with your mom? There you go. She doesn't know how to do all that. She has a phone, right? Yeah. She has, she has an iPhone? She has a Man, no, this is what she does. She literally <laughs> goes like, how does this work? And she'll hit her home button. She'll swipe. <laughs> like, hardcore index finger tap on something. Yeah. Goodness forbid, any phone call, she has to have it on speaker. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, but what if? You're just like, oh, I had the baddest case of chorro. And you're like, you're on speakerphone. Ah, That thing's been going. (laughs) You heard all of it? I heard all of it. (laughs) And so did our neighbors. Say hi. Hi. They were all here to say hi. (laughs) No, but if you FaceTime, she has an iPhone? If you FaceTime, I think she just has to. No, they have some smartphone from Walmart. I don't know. Mm. You know how funny it would be is, you know, when you FaceTime... Like, the screen of the phone can look at you because there's, like, dual cameras on each side. Mm-hmm. It'd be hilarious if she turns it the opposite way. Because she's like, no, the back camera needs to face me. <laughs> and you, can across you the room, now, need sweetie? to make sure that I'm in frame. And it's like, that's not how this works. And so, like, the whole time she's talking to you, you're talking to the wall. Right. <laughs> she walks in. Her husband's, like, changing. It's like, it's okay, sweetie. They can't see you. <laughs> and then Sarah's like, I, I can. It's like, Mom, the point of FaceTime is so I can see you. <laughs> right. That's what I'm pointing at myself, Or you sweetie. can see me. <laughs> he completely takes all of his clothes off, bends wow. over to look for like stuff, and then she's like <laughs> pointing right at him. That's so I'm, I'm sorry. Sarah's like, I can hear you. You can hear me. I can hear you. Turn me around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've actually joked about, you know, come WrestleMania, are we all going to have to watch it at our own homes with iPads and our phones just set up on little couch 
pillows and we're just like, yeah, Jimmy's over here and, you know, David's over there and blah, blah, blah. You know, Nolan dropped off for whatever We will whatever not reason. do that. He there's, needed to there's charge his phone. Really, there's, ten, there's less than 10 of us as long as yeah. Anna doesn't bring a friend. So it would just be what? David, Nolan, one, two. Yeah. Me, Jesse's in jail. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so me. God. Jesse is not available that weekend. <laughs> Madison and I, you, yeah. Sarah, yeah. Nick, David. I mean, David, Nolan, that's six. The cousin. Mm-hmm. Jimmy and Kenista. Nine. Okay, we're, we're pushing good. it. We're good. If your brother shows up, we're that's it. He's. Uh, I'll make sure that you know the kids <laughs> count too, so that's eleven. No, no, they're gonna stay in the back room. I'm just kidding. They can they can come out. They look so alike. We just count them as one. It's like <laughs> that's. Hey, hey, how's it going? You're eating again? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, okay. In the time that this whole self quarantine thing has really revved up, um, what have you done to pass the time? I'm sure you just watched more YouTube. The like, thing to is, the extreme. yeah. So I um, financially am focused on other things and going out. So I would, if anything, go out to the movies. Yeah. And that's the only thing I'm missing. Otherwise, I'm at home. I've mastered the entertainment like cycle from YouTube to YouTube TV to <laughs> movies back around. <laughs> so like, I'm good. You're good. What did I'm you watch good. in this past week? Well, this morning I um, saw a video. You guys know Chills from YouTube. I'm not trying to do a shout out, but you know he Chill? does sometimes. Is he the one that talks like this? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. He- I tried to watch something of his the other day, and I got it was like a top ten. I got to seven, and I was like, I can't. I, you, no one talks like this. I stopped. I, I stopped for a while, but then some of these lists are pretty good. So you know, I'll I'll sit there and I subscribe. So then when it comes up, I'm like, hey, this looks good. Today's was uh ten videos. I'm begging you not to watch or like don't watch if you don't want it to mess with you. But they never they never live up to the name of the video. Some do. No, some do. You think so? Yeah. And then Nolan sent me a video, a uh-huh. ghost video, where there's a, right. it was a security footage. So it was security footage, and it's completely just two cars. And then you see like a white ghost type of like cloud move from like the side of a car. Okay. It goes up, and then it leaves, and it comes back down. Like it legit looked like a ghost or a, a, some sort of unexplained cloud. Okay. Yeah, that's something I would definitely... If it's a ghost video, mm-hmm. I'm totally down to watch it. And so he asked me, he's like, does this look like something you've seen? I'm like, I've actually never seen it, like, face-to-face or, like, whatever. The only, thing, the only time I saw it was that outer body, body experience that I had where I, I was looking at myself and it was dark. It was actually a dark figure. That's mm-hmm. the only time I've seen something. Other than that, it's just opening and closing of doors, noises, glasses moving, shattering, water turning on, but never seen it. Dang. You know, before this whole thing, I watched Netflix like every 10 days, probably like an hour or two, maybe. Sunday, we went and watched quite a bit of Netflix. All day long. (laughs) On Saturday? Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Because there's no movie. (laughs) Well, I got to show you how to stream movies because that's what saves me is is the streaming of the movies because not everything's on Netflix, not everything's on Amazon Video, etc. So I'll show you guys that. And then there's no football for you either. There's wow. There's no sports. There's I like I can't even fall back on basketball. Like mm-hmm. there's nothing on. Mm-hmm. Uh, ESPN was doing competitive tag. Nah. That's what we should <laughs> not be doing. For those of you listening, do not play tag right oh, now. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no this, this is, is an old game. This is oh. old events that were taped like at you know, I don't know when, that originally aired probably like at the butt crack of dawn oh. on like a random Saturday morning. And then for whatever reason, they're like, we have nothing to air. Air old shit. Okay. And that's how I came across that uh, competitive championship dodgeball from Madison Square Garden that I shared fun. with you guys. Nice. <laughs> it, it, actually was, it actually was kind of cool. I watched it for like a half hour. <laughs> but I just needed some sort of sports. Um, but Sarah, what did we watch over Sunday? Oh, we finished some shows. We finished <clears throat> Trials of Gabriel Fernandez. Have you heard about that? That just sounds funny. No, what is that? Oh my god, that's not funny. It's not funny. The name, I guess you could see, is like yeah, something like, that could be funny. But no, this no, is a, this is a eight year old boy that died from uh, torture and abuse from his mom and stepdad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a what six episodes, six or seven. It was eight. Okay, each one ranges from like forty five minutes to like an, an hour. hour. How old was he? He, he was, was eight. He was eight. What it really yeah. comes down to is. The very strong suspicions that it was um, due to homophobia because the little boy was first raised 
by his uncle who's gay and he had a partner. And then it was, he was taken to the grandparents and then the mom wanted him back. So he got, he got sent back to the mom. And then the last eight months. All this before he was eight? Well, during his life. Yeah. 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 So uh, the uncles had him when he was a child to a toddler or whatever. Then the grandparents, I'm not too sure how long. And then he was with the mom and the step, uh, no, not stepdad. He was uh, a boyfriend. Boyfriend. That's it. But he played a role of a father. Like he kept saying, oh, she's my wife and he's my son or whatever. And so, um, so we got to watch part of the trial and stuff like that. Mm. It was, it was really about everybody that works in social services failing this child because there were signs and there were people who reported things about this child needing help. And then the social workers blatantly did not. They missed it. Yeah. Like, no, they, they would, totally overlooked it. Yeah. They wouldn't follow up. They would not do their job. And they would take the parent's word for it that everything's okay. And they would not try to push to see the child. You know, he's like, well, we have this allegation from a school teacher that they saw something on this child. And you're telling me that he's okay? Can I, can I, they never asked, can I see the child? And then it went to like police officers not doing anything. They didn't even try to see the child. And it was just everyone failing this child. And then when he died, that's where it was. And then it even got to the point where the parents are going to be prosecuted and they were going to go further to try to prosecute the yeah, social ev- workers. Everybody for negligence. Which yeah. is very rare. They said that hardly ever happens. And yeah. it was four different social workers because it was two supervisors and the two beneath them. Yeah. It was nuts, man. It was cr- once, it was such a good documentary. Once you feel like you're, got, you're, you're starting to get... Because you, once you do things over and over, and I understand you get burned out. You start to, I guess, everything becomes mundane, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But... Not in this job. Like in this job, if you feel that way, you, I, I don't know. There's got to be a cycle. There's got to be time off. Like you cannot. The bare minimum is you have to see the child. Some, bro. Yeah. You, you may not try to act on it or do something, but you physically have to look at this child. You cannot just take a parent's word on it for an allegation like that. That's like walking up to the murderer and it's like, hey, we heard some yelling. Everything's fine. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, um. All right. Have a good day. I'll see you. No. Uh, then we finished up season three of Glow, which yeah, was fun. It was good. <laughs> then, then out of nowhere, dude, we watched Space Jam on Netflix. It was there. <laughs> How long ago has it been since y'all seen that movie? I was a kid. I for sure. I was in elementary school. Okay. Kid. I did not see Space Jam when it was released on DVD. That's how long it's been. Yes, you did. They played us. They played it for us in school. Okay, but not, I mean, like for home viewing. Oh, oh, because okay. I had it on VHS, and then I didn't Ooh, watch it on TV. Mm-hmm. I didn't buy it on DVD, and then here it is. And when we pushed play, it was ranked number nine out of everything that's being watched on Netflix. Just trending, not yeah. Something. But dude, that says something. It's Space Jam. Out of everything that's on Netflix, how could Space Jam be trending at number nine? A lot of people are at home and they've got kids. <laughs> There's a lot of and... kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then later that night, we watched Frozen Two on Disney Plus. How many times? So I know you. So you were a child. Well, I have no idea. But yeah, I might have been maybe junior high. Maybe the last time I saw it. It's been no, at least we fifteen were, we years. We were in Longfellow. We, we were young. It was fifth, sixth grade. I wasn't. If Longfellow. anything, fifth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fifth or fourth. I was gonna say I felt like I was in the third grade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's been at least at least twelve. How I'm many times did you see it though? A lot. A lot, right? Yeah. So like watching it as an adult, what did you miss? I don't really think I missed a whole lot of anything. It is quite the time capsule to see a movie like that get made. And then we just watch it and it's like, I can't believe this is, we liked this? Yeah, well, <laughs> we didn't think of the real world, you know, that that would never fly or that would never work. Or, oh, right. You yeah. Know? Well, how, how did Zach say it when we were watching Terminator? When he, was it she was practicing how to shoot a gun or who was practicing how to shoot a gun? Because they were getting ready to go, you know? Yeah. And so they had to practice. And so they... He just said, do it right or whatever. And then she, he or she just did. And Zach was like, right. <laughs> because that's that's how it would, yeah, he, and he said it loud, too, for the five O's that were there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Sarah, it's, what did you think of Space Jam? It was so corny. <laughs> it it, it but really was. Everything I remembered. <laughs> corny I, seems right. It, I guess it left more of an impression on me because there was finally a female animal character. Because... 
Uh, Nick asked, is Tweety a boy or a girl? I said, Tweety's a boy. Every um, animal character is male. And then you have, of course, Elmer Fudd. And then, what, the old woman? That's it. Mm-hmm. So here comes Lola. Yeah. She's like, finally. Represent. <laughs> yes. And she was hot. <laughs> and she was good. Yeah, she was a good player. And yes, she was drawn to be sultry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although I did question if they were to make like another animated movie that wasn't I know they're going to do a Space Jam 2 with, with LeBron James but if they were to do like another animated movie like Roger Rabbit or something like that that incorporated lo- like cartoons that weren't CG created they're you know I was like you know Space Jam introduced the, the rule of the spit shine I, like I see that as being a joke that could go to any property that is a cartoon movie and that's how cartoons would clean. They're like, clean this room. And he's like, all right, spit shine. And then they spit and then Did, they magically that's... clean. I've always thought, I don't care about spitting, but that was, that just seemed nasty. <laughs> but it made sense. I mean, come on, it's a spit shine. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was corny, man. Uh, I don't know the name of that white fat no, dude. You, I don't, when's the last time you heard spit shine? Probably in the 90s. No one uses that anymore. Yeah. For those of you listening, <laughs> you it is literally. Do you even you hear s- elbow grease anymore? <laughs> oh man, no, I guess no. no. Uh, it, is, it is funny that when Michael got sucked down into that little golf hole, that Bill Murray and Larry Bird, like once they processed what had happened, they didn't call the authorities. They didn't. Like, no one called anybody. He's like, "This Michael Jordan. He just disappeared." Yeah. And we watched it happen. Did we call the cops? And then they just leave him. And then later in the movie, I was like, oh, yeah, because it goes through the night because the Looney Tunes got to go to Michael's place to get his basketball gear and his kids are sleeping. And I'm thinking, did his wife not care that her husband didn't come home from whatever he was doing? The golf game with Bill Murray? He mm-hmm. never came home. Yeah. yeah. Maybe she didn't know that he was golfing. Maybe he's like, babe, I'll be back on Thursday. <laughs> and you don't know. Like these guys, maybe Mike and Bill were both in the Illuminati puppet yep. tree circle mm-hmm. and so okay. then they were like man this is something from the other world this mm-hmm. is deep <laughs> you're taking space jam and connecting it to the illuminati mm-hmm. <laughs> like pitbull said i'm in something deeper than the masons oh man he said that it's a very very fast kind of like jc raps about the church ending that life doesn't start till the church ends and that's in that famous song the new york in new york Oh, okay, with Alicia Keys. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. All right, well, uh, look at you. Yeah, I liked that song. Uh, Sarah, we have been dealing with a bee problem. It's not a bee problem; it's a hornet problem. Yeah, they're in the same family. No, they are not. They are not. Bees will try their damnedest not to sting you unless you really aggravate them. Uh huh. Because they sting you, they die. Okay, that is true. So if a hornet stings you or a wasp, they don't die. It's a no. repeat sting. They, um, like, even if they lose it, they just regenerate another one. They're freaks of nature. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. just like lizards. They grow their tails back. <laughs> so we've been having this problem of hornets or wasps inside the house, and we don't know how they've been getting in. And Thursday was already a stressful day for me as it was. And yeah. it started with kitty puking on my runner again. Oi. So then I go to work, and then I get the dreadful news. Well, no, I'm already home, but... Um, work was already not looking too good. So then I come home and I deal with this hornet problem. And then your brother comes cause he's coming up. Like I just barely changed my pajamas yeah. <laughs> for the day. And then your brother comes. I'm thinking, what the fuck? Like I haven't even been able to sit down yet. Cause I've yeah. been killing these motherfuckers. Now I have to greet him, give him the movies. And then he has to help me battle this. <laughs> I'm trying to call. <laughs> All the while I'm at work. All again. Of course I'm at so, work. I tried calling the landlords. That's two people. I tried calling my dad. He doesn't answer. And that's twice. And I call my mom. I'm like, mom, help me. (laughs) So then she says, call your brother Nathan. I said, okay. So thank goodness he answers and he comes to my rescue. (laughs) Aww. I mean, your your brother did too. He killed one. But Mm -hmm. (laughs) he wasn't about to get up in the attic. So that's what Nathan did. Yeah. So that day I killed... Or we killed nine in the house. So I'm here right now. Where are they or where do they y'all see them? Or do you just finally they'll wander be, around and they'll they... be on the front window? Yeah. It's been going on for like a week. Right. So then what it's, what it changed? Thursday. What? The weather changed. The weather got hot. Yeah. Once it started to like consistently get hot, that's when they showed up. 
So that means there's Because then the one day there was like, it was cold in one of those days, obviously nothing happened. And then the next day it was warm again and they had returned. But we did we did a Google search about peppermint and bugs don't like peppermint and wasps don't like it. So that's why we had the humidifier with peppermint oil. And we, were, we figured they're coming in through the, the chimney, the fake chimney somehow. Yeah. And uh, apparently the chimney goes all the way up to the attic. It's not completely sealed off. And the, the wasps are getting in from the outside through the between the boards, getting into the attic and possibly coming down through the chimney into the house. Idiots. And that's how they're Just doing. Stay outside. We're so, hot. <laughs> so what the actual fuck? So yeah. today we went and bought these four... are theories, right? Or did, did no, you already found is... out? Well, yeah. So an exterminator finally came today. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And he said this goes all the way up through into the attic and. Her brother saw wasps in the attic and it coincided like they're over here by this window and that front window. They're going to see they're going to come out from the the fireplace, see sunlight and go straight from those windows and they can't get out. And I was like, "Okay, that makes a lot of sense." So we went and got uh four towels from the dollar store, rolled them up, and I stuffed them into the fireplace because there's a big gap, and then we put tape on the sides because they were little. And so now we're just going to see we're going to stop the peppermint, and we're going to see if they come. What kind of tape did you use? Duct tape. I didn't have anything wider. I need, like, gorilla tape or something. I don't know. There's a flex tape. I was watching these uh, YouTube videos. <laughs> flex tape. <laughs> Damn, bro. I'm not trying to shout them out or anything. If you're in a canoe and it has a hole, flex tape is right. your end. That'll... Right. You, Does man, it actually work? The, on the video, the video it did. Of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be really embarrassing if it didn't work on the video. They're this, just like, flex tape right here. It's, oh, shit. And oh. then it just doesn't. The canoe sinks and he's like, remember, get flex tape. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the possum part you're talking about. So he went up there and what the exterminator say? He said that off to the far corner that way. Um. It looks like there is openings in the attic because it's not sealed off because we have an outside deck. Like the out, like the attic molds into the deck. I see what, yeah. And so he's thinking that they could get into the deck, go up, and then get into the attic because they're not sealed. It's just not sealed. It's that big though to like allow. I don't fucking know. Unless possums are like cats. And they can just they melt. Just squeeze. And then squeeze. Or they got up there when it was little and it's grown. Like it, it did its life up there. Wow. Dude, this is a hundred year old But house. then, <laughs> I mean, if it did its life up there, well, I don't know. My cousin Andy went up there and he didn't see anything. No. God damn it. If he'd seen a possum, whoo, man, I don't know what I would have done. He like, I know I said this was going to be free. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. Wow. That, we'll never forget that. We had Mighty Mouse that you did on your own. I'm sorry. And then, you know, I experienced a possum. That was something. <laughs> <laughs> and Manuel, mm -hmm. to top it all off, and I shared it with Nick, uh, talking to one of the landlords yesterday, oh, man. I told her, I killed another hornet this morning. Can he please come? Like, I'm begging you now. I waited Thursday and Friday. Nothing. I'm begging you now. <laughs> and she said, pretty much, I don't know why this is, this is happening. It's never happened before. I screenshot, I circled it, and I sent it to Nick. <laughs> like, <laughs> because it happened and again. And there it is. <laughs> like, we actually have a screenshot of the landlord saying, I don't know why this is happening. It has never happened before. And that is a tale of my life <laughs> when it comes to anything that is digital or something that should not go wrong, that just does go wrong. And you're just left with, well, I've never seen this happen before. You know, I swiped your card, your debit card, and my computer shut and off. And then it happened to you on a Friday or Saturday. What you was I to, doing? You went to run an errand at the mall before uh -huh. they were closing. Yeah. And uh, you were trying to pay something. Oh, I, w I went to go run an errand, right? And so they're like, what's your phone number? Phone number, nothing. Okay, what's your name? Here's my name, nothing. And I'm thinking, I bought this product. Like, it... I know that there's a, a paper trail of this product that is tied to me here. <laughs> How you can't get it with my phone number or my name baffles me. So I gave them my address. No. Social security number. Gave them, I, I gave them all of this. They could not find any information on me. And so they were like, hold on. They called a hotline that somehow they answered questions that I had been giving them. And they got a um, file number. 
Then she typed in the file number and she found me with all the information that was verified, my social security, my address, my phone number, my name. And she was, she looks at me and she goes, that's never happened before. <laughs> Usually we just type in a phone number and your file comes up. And I was like, God, wow. <laughs> Can you say that one more time? And I'm, I am recording, but I need this. I just want to hear you say again, this has never happened before. God. <laughs> it, and I'm I, marrying this. I can't <laughs> make this stuff up, man. Well, uh, what you can't make up is the fact that we're in total lockdown and the nation is closing, to, closing up shop. People are staying indoors and you're desperate for some form of entertainment. Yada, yada. Have you heard that? Governments overseas have been telling streaming services to suggest to viewers to start watching things in standard definition because everyone streaming stuff in high def and 4K is putting a strain on the bandwidth for streaming services. So and what? It's, and it's slowing things down. And for other people that, that are new, that is like, now your area is being quarantined, they might suffer slow internet speeds because uh, of this. So then if you don't watch it in standard definition, you're fucking it up for everybody. Like, there's people yeah. who are now going through the worst of it and they can't <laughs> even watch Hannah Montana on HBO. In high SD. def. Yeah. It would have to be just in standard. Can you imagine watching a show like that in standard def? <laughs> I can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did. That's how we originally watched it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, was it four shows, five shows each? Mm -hmm. Five shows each. And then we have one communal pick, that being The Office. And so we're going to, we've got five, five, and five, and we're calling you this King of the Stream Tournament. And these are shows that when you're in lo total lockdown and you just need something to watch, this is stuff that, you know, that we think. They can pull you through. We, we get you through We this. suggest. <laughs> yeah. These are the things that we suggested. So we have four, uh, three blocks, right? Manuel, do you want to go ahead and cover your, your blocks first? And then sure. we'll get into the whole rigmarole of how we bracketed this thing up. Sure. And so these are just like the shows that I watch and I won't say like on a daily basis, but that I have seen and I definitely do enjoy. And so the first one uh, is called Arrested Development. Some of you may have heard it. It came out in 2003 mm -hmm. and it uh, never finished when it came out in 2003. It had season one, season two, season three, and then it just abruptly like shut down. They just and pulled a plug? They pulled a plug and it was like a lot of famous people there. Yeah, um, it was. It was. A, it was like a who's who of comedy in that show. It was. Um, it was just never given the attention, I guess, or I don't. I don't know. Maybe there was just other stuff. It wasn't the time for it. But yeah. if you watch it now, you would just laugh your butt off. Yeah. I would think. And so this is uh, IMDb's. Uh, the synopsis says that it's a level-headed son. Michael Blue takes over family affairs after his father is imprisoned, but the rest of his spoiled, dysfunctional family are making his job unbearable. Wow. And that's exactly it. And Michael has a plan for everything, or at least tries to do something for the company. And every time, it's either one of his brothers or his sister dragging him down. Yes. <laughs> you know, I've never watched Arrested Development. I Well, no, that's not true. I've seen maybe a handful of episodes. It is enjoyable. Is it still on Netflix? It, for right now, it is. <laughs> and Netflix is actually the one that did season four. I was going to say, yeah, that's right. There is a, a fourth season that came back later. Was that one just as funny? It yes. was different, but still good. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of season four, did they wrap everything up? There's one more season. They're going to do another one. Wow. No, no, no. They they did season five. Oh, there was. Okay. So they, wow. Good for them. Mm -hmm. And they got most, if not all of the original cast back. I, I don't think they missed anybody. Okay. They even did like random, like, uh, even like the, there was a high school sweetheart who ended up being the son of one of the main characters who was just like off. Like it was just like, there were, I don't know if they were running out of ideas or what, but even he came back. Yeah. Steve Holt. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, what was the next one in your block? So the next one that I have was, and this one, I feel, I feel like I would get a lot of heat for this one, but there's a lot of people who would feel me and say, yeah, this is good family guy. I have no qualms with that. No, but some people I feel like are like really family guy. Um, some, some, <laughs> who said it? Someone said, "Oh, you're." Someone said, "Oh, you're basic." Not to me, it's someone else. And they were like, "You probably sit around watch Family Guy, this and that, whatever." And I was just like, "Hey, that was kind of." <laughs> oh my god, me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, not not all of it, but the Family Guy part. I was like, "Hey, man, that that show's pretty funny." Yeah, like, he's like, I don't. Man, I haven't sat on the couch with my pants off in years, but I do still watch Family Guy. I'm not, you know, 
I do have some self-respect. Right. Yeah. And so uh, IMDb describes it as, In a wacky Rhode Island, Rhode Island town, a dysfunctional family that strives to cope with everyday life as they are thrown from one crazy scenario to another. Peter! <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, you guys have both seen Family Guy. Yeah. But for those of you who haven't, for some reason... Like, where have you been? Go to season 10. I think everyone on this planet had probably seen at least one episode of Family Guy. For sure. Yeah. Like, There's... that show is pretty unavoidable to watch anything. 19 seasons. It's a cartoon. You first think that, hey, this is, you know, just a cartoon maybe for kids. Oh, wait, that is not for kids. <laughs> it's not for kids. It's true. And, man, when they did that Simpsons crossover... God damn it. It That was hilarious. I hadn't watched Family Guy in a long time. I hadn't watched The Simpsons in a long time. But I came back for that, and I laughed my ass off because it was so... It was the stupidity of The Simpsons with the raunchiness of Family Guy. And that's how they did that. I loved it. 100% loved it. And I feel like mm, Family Guy and The Simpsons... You had to be a, a fan of both because if you weren't a fan of both, then there were jokes you didn't get from before because yeah. they brought old school Simpsons like things you wouldn't understand like unless you were a fan and same for Family Guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what next do you have? Day one stuff. Uh, the next and uh, Forensic Files. And I know this sounds like just a show you'd watch while you're waiting for your car in the shop to be done or something, but. Yeah. Dude, I sometimes watch this from like 10 p.m. till 4 a.m. <laughs> like, I'll just go back to back. To, not, not. This isn't all the time, but sometimes it's They're hours. They're only half an hour, aren't they? Um, no. Or is I it forensic? Fr yeah, I mean, it would be a 22-minute episode, but seriously? No, I think it's 40 minutes, so it would be an hour. Okay, I, I can't remember if Forensic Files is a half hour or it's a full hour. It's an hour, hour. yeah. I was going to say, that's a lot of shows from... 10 to 4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For a lot so, of episodes. I have been at your place. Well, God damn it. Like when we were much younger, I think you're like, all right, let me go shower real quick. Here, you can watch this. And I didn't want to mess with your cable setup. So I was just like, oh, let me just leave it on. Was it TLC? What channels did it come on? HLN. Okay. And I'm like, oh, it's Forensic Files. And you'd be showering. And then by the time you get out, you're like, all right, you ready to go? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I need to see how they catch this guy. <laughs> uh, is it the mom? Was it the mom? He got the mom. <laughs> it's always for many. Yeah, it's yeah. always for the life insurance policy. Nine times out of ten, yeah. It's because they want something. You're worth more dead than alive. Hey. <laughs> I got my eye on you, Sarah. Ew. No, 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 no. But that, I mean, sometimes, yeah. But sometimes it's also the, the affair is happening. So we need to we need to get her out of the way. We need to get him out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If uh, you want to go down the rabbit hole, that was like the original true crime like documentary thing, right? Someone put on, uh, Madison's mom came over and she was asking about watching true crime and we started watching. It didn't grab my attention the way Forensic Files did. I don't know what the difference is, but people compare those two because we were watching Forensic Files and she was like, yeah. you know what? You'd like true crimes. She put it on and just didn't, I don't know. Was it the narrator? Sometimes Maybe. it's the narrator. Maybe. Is it the, is it the same voice, show. the whole Forensic Files? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because okay. now there's Forensic Files 2 with new episodes from like not 1988 yeah. <laughs> or oh, 1990. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So this like in 2006, this happens like, oh shit. <laughs> now you're really stepping on toes. <laughs> So the Big Bang Theory is my number four. Okay, and and I'm not; these aren't ranked by any means. Like I, I yeah, actually, this is right now. Yeah. It's just a general. These are like your favorite shows, no particular order. So you got the Big Bang Theory that has what ten? See, is it ten seasons? Uh, twelve. Wow, and it just ended. Yeah. Have you finished yeah. it? It was th thirteen. I'm sorry, thirteen seasons, and I did. I finished it. You did. Okay. I waited. I I, I I didn't finish it live. I did. I, I postponed finishing that show because I didn't want to finish it. And I was like, man, this is gonna go. And then when I when I finished, I was like, I should have finished it soon. It was a good ending. I really enjoyed it. For those of you who haven't seen it, like it's it definitely evolved from what IMDb started naming it. The hypnosis the hypnosis says, a woman who moves into an apartment across the hall from two brilliant but socially awkward physicists show them. To show them how little they know about life outside of the laboratory. Wow. That's what it says. All right. You know what show I just remembered? Huh. New Girl. Oh, man. Damn it. Okay. That is not on my list. But it can be an honorable mention. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's only because I don't remember how many seasons it has, but... 
he was talking about the show ending and how it was really, really good. And I'm thinking, oh, New Girl was good. New Girl was good. Ugh, I want to watch it again. <laughs> If it's uh, if it's still on Netflix, yeah. How do you get around to watch the the Big Bang Theory? Uh, it's on demand on YouTube TV, so. Oh, okay. I can and watch everything. And that's a CBS thing. <clears throat> CBS has their own streaming thing, right? I think they do. I don't know. It no, used, they do. They it do. used to be on Netflix. It ain't there no more. No, they they do. But I just I have YouTube TV, yeah. so I can. On I think I had stuck around. We we started buying the DVDs and Blu-rays, and I think we got up to like season seven or eight. For Big Bang, yeah, and I want to say bought those. Uh -huh. oh, like we would find them like a, you buy a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we would find them like on Black Friday sales for like dirt cheap. And I was like, fuck it, just buy it. And I think at that time they were going into season ten, I think. And man, that was a long time ago. And yeah, I would love to definitely go back and finish, pick up where I had left off and finished it. They they really developed. I think the only one that was left was Raj. They tried. They attempted several girls with him yeah. for more than one episode, you know. But I guess it never. Yeah. Yeah. Zara, did you like The Big Bang Theory? Yeah. You did. It was one of those shows where I watched reruns, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. There was a lot of people that don't like that show. Why? I honestly. Well, the God, laugh I track is stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> if if you yeah, I guess in. In 2020, I could see that being like, oh, someone's laughing. I mean, there's still a bunch of shows that do laugh tracks. I mean, oh, okay, there are comedy shows that don't, but I thought they were shot in front of a live studio audience. The big it didn't sound like it. No, I don't think that. I think it's just a laugh track. But for the most part, I don't hear it. But there were times I did, and I'm just like, I, that feels weird. That feels what is that? That feels cringy. <laughs> now, a uh, prior relationship. Uh, <laughs> you disclosure. Don't you don't say. Mm. Um, <laughs> they personally didn't like it because they didn't like how they interpreted uh, these kind of this kind of geekdom. Yeah, pop they, culture and all that. Yeah, because they said nerds don't look like this. I was like, well, maybe some do. It's a cute show. Because I started watching it because when I got out of one relationship and was getting into another, I was going through a transition. I couldn't sleep at night, so I'm in my old brother's room, <laughs> or my brother's old room. I'm like, all right, let's just put the TV on so I can go to sleep. And Big Big Bang Theory would come on. So it would be like Friends, and then Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> these are really cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's very cute. So then once I heard someone didn't like it, I was thinking, well, shit. Now I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> oh, man. Because I genuinely liked it. I didn't care how they interpreted these nerds, because no offense, a lot of geekdom nerds here in Houston are fat <laughs> and obese, okay? <laughs> so, no, they're not going to look like these. These were also physicists. Yes. Like, they're they're not your typical nerd. These are like nerds times 10. Yeah. Like, not only are they into all this pop culture stuff, they could probably put a man on the moon if they put their minds together. Right. right. That's these the level of nerdom that these guys are at. They're successful, yeah. right? They're not, you should have told them, it was like, just because you saw some of your peers in high school or in junior high, that's not what we're dealing with. These guys have already graduated and have jobs. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do they do with all that money? Buy memorabilia. That's um, right. Which is what I would probably do. I feel like that's what <laughs> most men do. <laughs> probably. If I had more money, uh, I'd, phew, I'd buy a <laughs> bunch of stuff. You'd be like, Nick, really? This is what you bought? And I'm like, For real? it's my money. I do what I want. <laughs> I'd gamble to make more money, but I. it's the same thing. It just depends on where we focus. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad Sheldon and Penny were there for you. Yeah. <laughs> and what was your final pick for your block? Parks and Recreation. You know, my um, friend Imar yeah. adores this show. Who doesn't? Like it, 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 I started it, I started li liking it because it reminded me of The Office. And it started off like The Office, but man, did it take a turn. Really? Yeah, it's very, you know, first of all, it's the one-on-one the -on -one interview where you're talking directly to the camera, you yeah. know. Uh, you make faces to the camera, you know. So it was it took a lot from the office, but in its own in its own road, its own little like you can't. It started off that way, but it did not stay that way. So oh, that's, okay, you know. And I really enjoyed it. I didn't watch Parks and Rec live, and I've only seen like a handful of episodes. Um, I don't know if it's a show that I would really enjoy, but I had thought that as the office was fading away and Thirty Rock was running parallel to it. I thought 30 Rock was the show that was going to be like NBC's number next 
top popular show. Thir- 30 Rock was really popular. Yeah, because wasn't it also shot like The Office? <laughs> never saw it. I you never, never saw it? Yeah, I never saw it either, but I never understood the title. 30 Rock. I think that's an... Is it an address? Rockefeller. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. And it had something to do with, like, this is what it's like for head honchos at NBC making a show mm-hmm. or something like that. And yeah. it's just, they're a bunch of idiots. Yeah. And so I'd catch glimpses of it before The Office, or right before The Office started, you know? Yeah. So, but that was the only time I saw it. I never, like The Office, someone pointed The Office out to me and was like, you need to check that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Manuel's Block is Arrested Development. Parks and Recreation, The Big Bang Theory, Forensic Files, and Family Guy. Sarah, mm-hmm. you're up. What are your five that you're bringing to the King of the Stream tournament? Grace and Frankie. Grace and Frankie is a Netflix original, right? And it's Yes, it has six seasons. And it's a series that follows Grace, a retired cosmetic, uh, cosmetics mogul, and Frankie, a hippie art teacher whose uh, husband's Robert and Saul are successful divorce lawyers in San Diego. Grace and Frankie's lives are turned upside down when Robert and Saul announce that they're in love with each other and are leaving their wives <laughs> for each other. <laughs> uh, now, wow. now the women who have never particularly liked each other are forced to live together and learn to unite and cope with uh, their difficulties. <laughs> and they are the sweetest and most cutest best friends i've ever witnessed yeah because they are polar opposites but they genuinely love each other yeah they understand how much they need each other to yeah you know because at, at, at its core it's like look we both lost our husbands and we can't i like how early in the, like the first season they're like i'm so pissed that you lied to me all this time but i'm not even allowed to be angry about it yeah because it's like oh y'all are gay and y'all found love and <sighs> damn yeah. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Which one's uh, Jane Fonda? Grace? Grace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So obviously one is like all uptight and like, I mean, they're, they're all rich, but she like lives that type of like flashy Top lifestyle. collar and everything. And then Frankie is the hippie. She smokes weed. She wears... And that's Lily Tomlin. And she wears what looks like rags and like all these weird outfits. And they're so... It's such a goddamn funny show. We should watch a, an episode of Jimmy Fallon where they're playing Password with Grace and Frankie. And oh my gosh. <laughs> I it's, fr- it's frustrating. It's funny. It's... I don't know. Like just watching them, I was just like, what the hell? Have you not watched the show? No. Has uh, Madison watched it? I don't know. God, I, I really so. think that if anything, she would love it and she could get you to watch at least to I, see if you could get I like it. Jane Fonda a lot, so I, I, I'm, I may watch it on my own. Like, that's, yeah. Okay. I mean, if she hasn't seen it, watch it with her, dude. God. That will, listening to Sarah describe it, I kind of want to see how that <laughs> unfolds. That's an, that's an adventure. Yeah. They do plan on having one more season come out, mm-hmm. but it might be, it's looking like the final season, which yeah. makes sense. Yeah. My next one is Sexy in the City, <laughs> which you can watch on Amazon Prime, HBO Go, and Hulu, and others. But um, mo- it's better, for me, I thought it was just better to list ones you can subscribe to. Yeah. Um, it also has six seasons, but six, uh, the sixth season was done in two parts. Mm-hmm. So 6A and 6B. Why is that? <clears throat> how HBO does it, kind of like how they did with Game of Thrones, they do the final season in two parts. The whole season? Yeah. So, and they tend to be longer episodes. That might have been why they did it that way. And HBO does it so way they can see what their next big hit will be. Mm. So when they know a season or um, a series is really good, they'll divide it into two parts so they can have a backup show. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's how it was described to me and it makes sense. The show was based in part on uh, the writer's book, uh, Candace Bushnell's 1997 book of the same name, compiled from her column at the New York Observer. But they also have two movies that were done after the series was over. Um, and um, as it looks, they're probably never going to do anything no. Sex and the City related again. Apparently some <clears throat> members of the cast can't get along. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because um, I've watched most of the show, I think... Maybe season one is what I've missed yeah. for the most part. Mm-hmm. The show's not bad. And the first movie was actually pretty good. And then the second movie, I don't know, it didn't jump the shark, but it was like, really? What? What? 
It seemed like they were reaching. I'm kind of shocked that there's only six seasons. Yeah. I thought there were more. All right. Uh, what is the next one in your block? Sense of Anarchy. Yeah. Oh, man. So I'm not the type to actually watch things on cable television. I like premium channels. I got into this one pretty late, but I caught up in time for the final season to air, which was season seven. Uh, you can watch on Amazon Prime, uh, but you have to buy each season. And they're, I think season one was $8, and then the others, the rest of them are $10 each. And uh, I didn't check to see if there were others you can stream them on, but probably are. Uh, so it's an American crime tragedy television series created by Kurt Sutter, who's married to uh, KB Seagal, that aired from 2008 to 2014. It follows the lives of a close-knit outlaw motorcycle club operating in Charming, a fictional town in California's cent- uh, Central Valley. Brotherhood, loyalty, betrayal, and redemption are constant themes. This series explored vigilantism, uh, government corruption, and racism, and depicted an outlaw motorcycle club as an analogy for human transformation. Did y'all watch this back to back? Oh yeah, when we were at the apartment, we watched it on Netflix. Oh yeah, and then it wasn't shortly. It was shortly after we stopped that we ended that they took it off. You see this trend? What? It's not good. What do you mean it's not good? To binge. What's wrong with what's wrong with binging? Y'all don't remember. <laughs> well, I I could have sworn that Happy had been. I think he was a, more involved in the final two seasons. He was there in and out um, during the seasons. Like I could swear he was in season two and three. He's just off to the side. He sneezed and someone said, bless you, Sappy. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so my next one is Golden Girls. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually grew up on Golden Girls because it was something that my mom and I, we could watch and just bond over together. Yeah. So I was actually gifted all of the series, which she has at home. They're all on DVD because they've never been... On a br- on a Blu-ray release. Yeah, mm-hmm. is Golden Girls the thank you for being a friend? Mm-hmm. Okay. Excuse See, me. I know nothing about them, but <clears throat> when she said that in my head, I was like, something, something, a jingle is coming. Thank you for being a friend. That's part of like thank the, you the theme for song. Being a yeah, friend, right? Like that. That's oh. the opening line to their theme song. Oh, okay. So they're <laughs> always on TV, and for the life of me, I can't remember. You can always watch on the Hallmark Channel, but there was. One other channel, because Hallmark had these stupid commercial breaks right in the middle of the episode Uh when it wasn't appropriate, whereas the other channel where I would watch it on, I'd go back and forth. Mm -hmm. They didn't care. They just cut it as they time for commercial. Yeah, it was awful. So, whereas the other one, they did the appropriate because... In between scenes. Yeah. Like when you're... When you know, like, the commercial break is coming. Yeah. Whereas in Hallmark, they'll have a commercial break. It'll be the last minute of that segment. And then the weird break, and then it'll continue. Yeah. Saying, are y'all, y'all are stupid. <laughs> anyway. Give me that jar. You better not. Tr- they're not even <laughs> trying. They're just like, oh, we need a break here and here. Put them in there. All right, boss. Yeah. Mm. Um, so you can also watch it on Hulu or Amazon Prime, and it has seven seasons. It's an American sitcom television series created by Susan Harris that originally aired on NBC from September 14th, 1985 to May 9th, 1992. The show has an ensemble cast and the plot revolves around four older single women, three widows and one divorcee, sharing a house in Miami. The owner of the house is a widow named Blanche Devereaux, who was joined by fellow widow Rose Nyland and divorcee Dorothy uh, Spornak. After they both (laughs) responded to an uh, an ad on the bulletin board of their local grocery store, House Sweet. A year before uh, the start of the series. In the pilot episode, the three women joined by Dorothy's 80-year-old mother, Sophia Petrillo, after the retirement home where she had been living burned down. Uh, What was the final one, the final pick for your block? Dexter. So he has eight seasons, and you can stream them on Showtime, Netflix, and Hulu. It's an American... A crime drama mystery television series that aired on Showtime from October 1st, 2006 to September 22nd, 2013. And I advise you to skip the final episode of the series. Just skip it. Really? Wow. It was terrible.
terribly done. Everyone was disappointed with how they decided to do the very last episode. It was very disappointing. So just skip it. Everybody's Don't even worry about it. Every, why didn't you like it? <laughs> okay, well, spoiler. Dexter's sister gets shot and she dies. No! Yeah. Deb dies. So guess what he does? So she's comatose in the hospital. Mm-hmm. He takes her off life support, takes her with him on his boat out in the middle of the storm that's coming. Mm-hmm. He dumps her body in the ocean. What? I thought she got shot. Oh, she got shot to being in a coma. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And then he took her off life support. Killing her. And threw her body in the ocean. Is that what she wanted? No. This is out of left field. This is what Dexter does to um, his victims who are all the time guilty. Like their other killers or whatever. Who's like Saw. It's, he is a... It just <clears throat> didn't make... Here, I'll read it. Dexter Morgan is a Miami-based blood blood splatter expert who doesn't just solve murders, he commits them too. In fact, he's a serial killer, but he only murders the guilty, so he feels justified with his lifestyle choices. His policewoman's sister and his uh, cop co-workers have no idea Dexter lives a double life. It's a unique brand of justice for which charming Dexter feels a psychological hunger. Mm. So what he would do is... He would go after these bad people. He would cut them up and dispose them in the ocean. And he does that consecutively through the whole entire series. You get to this last fucking episode and he does that to his sister. He doesn't cut her up, of course, but he just throws her body out there. She's dying anyway. She, But she didn't deserve that. He only did that to the bad people. She deserved more. Like a real funeral. Yeah. Or something. Now, did she get shot saving his life or something? I don't know. She was at a club. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. She was saving his life. Because she had then found out that what he was. Oh, okay. And one of the cops that she wasn't a cop anymore for them, she was following him. So it was the three of them. And so she literally took the bullet for him. Yeah. But I don't remember. It's been so long now. Wow. Yeah, 2013. Yeah. Wow. I had no... All I remember from that is that people were disappointed how it ended, and then Dexter became a lumberjack, and he lived in the woods. Yeah. And I was like... He has a son, and he was involved with this woman. So somehow the woman understands and knows that this is okay, that she's just going to be the caregiver of her son, and he's just going to run off and start a new life. Does he come and go? Oh, okay. No, he lives in Alaska. Wow. And she took... His son to Paris. <laughs> they, it sounds like they just checked out on that final Man. episode. Man. It was bullshit. Y'all. It's okay. I think we've all been burned by shows that end and we're just not satisfied with like the ending. Like, like man, I was so into The Sopranos and then that final season just kind of like wore me down and I never finished it. I was so excited for the finale of The Sopranos and then I got like maybe three quarters of the way and I said, something's changed. And I don't like what it is. I don't know if it's the writing or the directing. And I never finished it. And then I heard that it just kind of ends in the middle of a scene. And you don't know, like, there's no resolution. So you're just like, well, what the fuck are we doing? Like, we just wasted our time here, man. Family guys said that. They're like, they wouldn't just cut us in the middle of a scene because I know that they would. And that is exact. <laughs> and then they did the same font. That was exactly what they did. They took a shot at the Sopranos because no one liked the way that ended. Uh, okay, so my block, my five, um, here we go. My first one, in no particular order, is The X-Files. Uh, two FBI agents, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully, one who is a believer and the other a skeptic, investigate the strange and unexplained while hidden forces work to impede their efforts. This show has 11 seasons, two movies, and is streamable on Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Vudu. So who here has seen The X-Files? I have. What a cool time for The X-Files, too. (laughs) It was the 90s. I was into monsters. And this show was pretty much made for me. It was like a monster of the week type of thing. Everything wanted to be so high tech and so like in the future that this was like their high tech, their future. You know what I mean? Like if you look at Power Rangers, you look at what like the command center would be and what robots being, you know, like the, I guess a glimpse, you know, and this gave us a glimpse that like 
stuff of the government, stuff of like alien stuff of <laughs> all that stuff that people are like room. There's rumors, and there was like conspiracy theories mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. sort of stuff. And this ties to this, this went to that. Man. Alien involvement and all that yada yada. Governments covering up conspiracies and all that. Do you have a favorite episode? Maybe not season nine. Mm-hmm. I didn't really care for season nine, but I remember in season eight, it, it was basically when they got bigger budgets as the seasons went on is when I really started to like like enjoy it. And then uh, David Duchovny wanted to leave the show to go do other things. And I get it. He wanted, at the time, I didn't understand, but now I get it. He, he didn't want to be typecast as Fox Mulder. He wanted to go make movies. He went and did that movie, I think it was Evolution or something. And then he wanted to go do another show. And I don't know if Californication was coming out or something, but he left for the final season and they brought him back for like two or three episodes. Mm. Like 95% of that final season, Fox Mulder was not there. Mm. And they had to replace him with this other guy. And he was running Did around. Did he look like him? No. Oh. No, it was a totally different agent and mm. all that stuff. But then Mulder came back and I was I like, I love it Dude. when they do that. And then like they tried to wrap everything up and then the show ended. And um, I think the first movie takes place between seasons. It's either between seasons four and five or five and six is when the first movie occurs. And then after the series ended, that's when you got the second movie and then Fox brought it back and they gave them two more seasons. And so, yeah, that's where we stand at 11 seasons. Sarah, did you ever watch The X-Files? I think I tried an episode or two. It just was my favorite. It just wasn't, it wasn't for you. your cup of tea? No. no. There were uh, some people that viewed The X-Files as like the Twilight Zone. And it, you know, for it was like basically a different horror movie every single week. Oh, you talk about favorite episodes. Okay, so there's one <laughs> of the X Files where they shot the episode like an episode of Cops. Mm. That was awesome because I think Mulder hears something about like this town is experiencing vampires, I think, or werewolves or something, and so he goes with Dana, and it just they just so happen to be in a town where they're shooting an episode of Cops because it was on Fox, and so now. The cops' cameras are there, and there's Mulder spouting off this conspiracy bullshit, and Scully is like, you can't be talking like that to these cameras. And he's like, no, Scully, they got to hear the truth. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it was a hilarious episode. I didn't catch that one. Uh, my number two is The Walking Dead. Uh, this show follows De- uh, Sheriff Deputy Rick Grimes, who wakes up from a coma and and to learn that the world is in ruins and must lead a group of survivors to stay alive. It is currently airing on TV right now. It has season 10 seasons and all of them are available on Netflix. The series also has a spin-off series called fear the walking dead. That is also on Netflix. And that is also from AMC. So who here hates the walking dead? I don't hate it. I'm just <laughs> disinterested. It stopped being good. I feel uh, like I have comments with yours. I literally never saw any of Sarah's shows. <laughs> like, I had nothing to say to any of the. <laughs> I'm like, uh, now I have like a thing about, okay, I've seen X-Files. Okay, I started to watch. Okay, the how Walking far did Dead. you get into The Walking Dead? Two seasons, three seasons to, to the third season. No, yeah, the beginning of the third season. Okay, so they kind of got to the prison. Yeah. And then that was it. Okay, yeah. a lot of people dropped off when there. Sophia left the barn and she was a zombie. That is when a lot of people were like, this show's not for me. And for me, I was like, that's a punch to the gut. That's how I would have wrote it. This is fucking great. And I've been, I've sat through all of this and I'm still hooked on it. Yeah, um, I'm still here. And Sarah, I'm the only you, one left at the party. Do you not like The Walking Dead? No, because I also got disinterested too. But at the beginning you did. Yeah. Did you get farther than him? I, I think I told you where I left off. I just can't remember... What time? Probably like what season was? Mid season. Yeah, two. It remember? was when Glenn and his girlfriend were taken hostage. Oh, okay, mm. so that might have been. I think the governor took them hostage. No, I don't remember the governor. You never made it to the governor. Okay. No. God damn. I think it's easy. I think two. I only saw the governor because of you. That might have been true. Governor. <laughs> governor. <laughs> All right. Uh, my number three is one that is bittersweet for me. I, it's a love-hate relationship. It's lost. <laughs> uh, this show follows the survivors of a plane crash who are forced to work together in order to survive a seemingly deserted tropical island. It had six seasons and is now on Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. Okay. 
Who watched Lost? I did not, but I've been wanting to. And then right now, the way you said it, like it, it, it makes me want to watch it. So okay. now I've got two: Grace and Frankie and Lost. Okay, Sarah, did you watch it? I saw the pilot, and that's it. Okay, so again, it was was not for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> but and... <laughs> the the heavier set guy with the curly hair. Yeah, Hurley. I love him because, and it's only because I saw him in another show, and I can't remember what I saw him in now. I I don't I don't know. Several of these actors went on to do immediately other shows, mm-hmm. um, and of course, Evangeline Lilly went on to become uh, the Wasp in the Ant Man movies. Nice. Good for her. Good for her. Uh, Manuel, how did why did you miss Lost? I don't know. I don't know, and I remember hearing a lot about it. And then I watched it. I think Nolan watched it. Uh, the Castillos watched it. Maybe I was lost. There was a lot of kids <laughs> in ROTC that watched it. Dang, yeah, like bro, that was like we were in high school. It was like. It. it was one of those things where I pretended to, and I was like, it'll be fine. I'll be Nobody fine. will really know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember uh, the stuff with Louie? <laughs> Never mind. <What? laughs> where he would like watch South Park and then tell me about it, and I'd be like, yeah. Oh, it's but one I of those I never things. saw any of yeah. like not even one episode. You faked it till you made it. <laughs> yeah. uh, my number four is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This show follows young Buffy Summers, played by Sarah Michelle Gellar, who is destined to slay vampires, demons, and other monsters, deal with her life fighting evil with the help of her friends. It had seven seasons and is currently on Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. Okay. What do y'all think of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Legend. Legendary status, right? For me, at least. (laughs) Then I never saw it. I fucking uh, love that show. Oh, it also... Also, uh, Angel was a spinoff series of Buffy, and it aired for five seasons. I was watching SmackDown, and I'd see previews for it all the time. (laughs) <laughs> on UPN. Yeah, Sarah, did you watch Again, Buffy I saw the, the pilot and I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing. You can skip season one of Buffy. And if you were to watch it and fall in love with it, then you have that built-in comfort with it to support you through season one. Season one's not all that great. Most fans would say, if you're going to try to get someone else to watch this, start them on season two and just let and it And just ride. tell them who the characters are. Yeah. That's Xander, that's Willow, that's Buffy, that's Angel, that's Spike. There you go. <laughs> you know, I know somebody who actually watched this show on accident, or they would put on the show so that they wouldn't hear the other people in the house wouldn't hear them watch, having sex. Wow. Yeah. So that, but then it became more than just the noise in the background. Yeah. They wanted to watch the show. They're like, hey, man, this is actually not half bad. Yeah. I guess when they have sex now, it's like, let's put season one on. Uh, there it's you go. Fine. <laughs> I, Sarah, I really think you should give Buffy a chance. I don't know. Like, if I can get three key episodes for you to watch at different parts of the series, and if you don't like those, then I'll be like, all right, I'm done. But, right. okay, honey, so the thing is, you <laughs> almost adore the cheesy acting. But it's, you it's are, your thing. You're, you're, you're weak to it. You think I'm seeing this through rose-colored lenses? You do. Oh, Buffy? You, you have a lot of patience for and that Supergirl. shit. And <laughs> Supergirl. Hey, season one of Supergirl was arguably bad but the rest of it is pretty good it's still cheesy acting of course it all is. your it's superhero super girl. all your superheroes of course it is it's super girl <laughs> oh my okay gosh. look in the in the pantheon of the cw superhero shows arrow and the flash are the best ones they are they're still cheesy of i was to say they're superheroes is it cheesy i only saw like one or two episodes i didn't arrow keep up. was good for a while yes yeah seasons four and five were the drizzling shits and then they quickly rebounded, and then it was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. know. But if you, if you want realism, Arrow is there. If you want um, lightheartedness, you've got Flash. Flash. If mm-hmm. you want the dark, you got Batwoman, you want cheesy, Supergirl, and you want the camp and stupidity, that's what the Legends are for. Now, I've made you watch several of Legends of Tomorrow, and if that's your judgment on that, I blame no, it on no, no, the no, Legends. No, 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 I, I think you told me it was going to be like Guardians of the Galaxy, but for TV. Yeah. And, and I wasn't. still can't stand that bitch's chin. I just can't. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a character, she Sarah has a Lance. Butt chin. <sighs> the, a terrible the white, dimple. The and white just... canary. Mm. Uh, yes. A Sarah, girl. Yes. Sarah hates her chin. And, and then the does. way she talks, I can't stand it. Bless she... her heart. Oh, man. <laughs> I know. It's like the most absurd reason. It's not the acting or the writing because. <laughs> hey, no, but that's part she's of like, it. I cannot stand that bitch's chin. Yeah. If you can't be looked at, that's hard. I can't stand the way she. The way she she motions to talk. So, of course, that's going to affect her acting for me. Yeah. I used to work at Dish, and they would uh-huh. put out these posters for all these HBO stars, 
Dexter movie, movie shows, and then I, I would look at Dexter, and I would not want to watch it. Like I, just by looking at Dexter, I'm like, I don't yeah. want to see it. Wow, you're just like you're being pushed too hard. No, I don't want nothing to do with his you. little. It's okay. Was it? That was the his, diffuser. His oh, little okay. smile with yep. the blood around him and the like the, the glove. I was like, I'm good. It's the whole thing of like they don't know that I just murdered somebody. Right. Like you're getting. I felt like he was getting away with something, or he was like that. <laughs> like that. I'm like, no, you are not that swift. You are not that cool. Get yeah. away. All right. Uh, my fifth pick was. It's, it was hard, man. I had so many great shows. But my fifth pick is Veronica Mars. After her best friend is murdered and her father is removed as county sheriff, Veronica Mars becomes a private detective to crack the toughest mysteries in the affluent town of Neptune. It has four seasons, all of which are on Hulu, and a feature film, which is also on Hulu. So you go and you watch the original three seasons, go watch the movie, and then the new season four. What is that? that? I just realized that you had shows that have movies. You had a show that had a movie, at least. Yeah. Sex and the City. Sex and the City. Yeah. Did any of them have other other shows have a movie? Um, none of mine did. Oh well, Buffy, no, the, Buffy yeah. the Vampire Slayer does have a movie, but the movie and the show are two totally different things. None of my shows had a movie. What, just, why don't shows... just Sex and the City had a movie? Oh, yeah. and then I had the X Files. They have two movies. They did. Yeah, they yeah. did. And then The Walking Dead, they're going to have a trilogy of made-for-TV movies starring Rick Grimes. Hmm. They're expanding on that universe some more. They had gold, man. Waking <laughs> up in the hospital, the world is <laughs> in ruins. You know, that that was gold. Yeah. Well, have either of y'all ever watched anything of Veronica Mars? No. Okay. Sarah? Just whatever you were playing on in the background. She's pretty. <laughs> that's Kristen Bell, right? Yeah, that's I Kristen Bell. I think that was probably the first thing that I saw her in. And Anybody. And I think at this time... It was around the time that Buffy was on. And so I saw, I think, Veronica Mars as being, if Buffy was to end, I could transition to this and it doesn't have monsters, but it's it's like the sleuthing. It's detective. It's a young girl. She has a little band of friends. Everything will be great. And what when I was watching it a little bit when it originally aired, I did fall in love with it, but I think it was on the C... Not the CW, the Buffy. WB. I think it was on the WB. Buffy was on the WB. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it ended. And the way they were airing this series, it wasn't in order. So I could never keep up of what I had seen. There was no such thing as the, well, I didn't have the internet then. And Which then it just stopped I airing. I didn't pick up on Friends for that reason. Yeah. Back then, I was just like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. You know, the, like I fall in love with a show and it's out of order and I know it is. And then it just stops. Mm-hmm. And for years, I was like, I want to finish Veronica Mars. And then I found it on, I think it might have been on Netflix. And I'd watched a little bit. And then they quickly took it down. And then I just had to suck it up and buy the DVDs. And now it's all on Hulu. So there you go. But yeah, uh, Kristen Bell went and did a GoFundMe or something. And for the movie, right? For the I movie, yeah. That. That's I all they did. That. And in one day, they got enough budget to make the movie. And then... You know, the, the story ended and you just assumed, okay, they wrapped everything up as much as they could. And now they did a fourth season on Hulu, which I watched and I loved. Hmm. So the way I did this as uh, the tournament is I numbered all of our shows randomly. One through 16, stuck those numbers in a randomizer. And then the new fresh, you know, is how I made the brackets. It wasn't like our blocks were going to face each other and then go toe to toe. So... What came out first was the first matchup is the Golden Girls versus Lost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and have our discussion. Who would win or which is more bingeable, Lost or the Golden Girls? I'm going to say Lost only because I just like that scenario. But Golden Girls stood the test of time. Yeah, it's still aired right now, Lost. I know nothing about Lost, <laughs> and then Golden Girls, I know nothing about, but yet I know the first few words of that song. Wow. Um, Sarah, what would you pick? Golden Girls. You would stream Golden Girls. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so I feel like Golden Girls would take a bunch of punches and then lay one on one good one on Lost, and it would stay standing. Uh, you know what? Prob- in the end of it, probably Golden Girls would continue to stand the test of time. Um, so we've got one and one. For bingeable sake, I think I'm going to have to go with Lost only because you can drop in, drop out of Golden Girls. And is there an overarching plot to their things or are they are all I mean, episodes? a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, each day is a different event. Yeah. 
but the storyline stays the same. Yeah. So whether like, there's morals to the to it though, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I remember at the time when Lost was airing, I had to put DVDs together because we had a burnable DVD player, and I would record the episodes and burn them to DVDs to then take to school and hand them out because each disc could hold like three or four episodes. And that's how this friend would watch Lost. So they were depending on me. So if I missed an episode, they were screwed. What the fuck? The thing about Lost was, I think it was because um, whenever night it aired, you could, you know, everybody had DVR. But at that time, you could only record two shows, right? And I think in their household... It was taken Their up. parents were like, we're watching this and this. So they could not watch Lost. Hierarchy. So I was like, okay, I got you, I mean, bro. they're paying it. <laughs> they are paying it. And, and that sucks for like a child. You know, you're like, I want to watch this. It also airs at seven o'clock. But mom is watching this. Dad is watching that. I can't watch my show. You know. Boo hoo. It never had DVR. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know how far Lost is going to go. I'm going to vote to carry that over Golden Girls. Uh, because, man, I have that love-hate relationship with Lost. You're going to vote Golden Girls for over. round one. Golden Girls. Goes. Damn. Oh. Man. Okay. So, okay. So, I got outvoted. Oh. So, Lost is done. So, let me just get this out there. When, fu- as the series goes on for Lost, they start doing, you know, they always did the flashbacks. Because there's like, oh, origin stories to the people on the island. That's cool. Once we learned everything about these people, they kept doing it. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want this anymore. I'm tuning in to people living on the island and surviving. And now you've got others. Oh, my God. What is the polar bear doing? No, no, no. Stop. I'm going to watch it. No, man. And then, <laughs> like, bro, when you get to the parts where they start flashing forwards, that's another thing. But then they do flash sideways. I don't even know how to talk about that. <laughs> what how do you that? Flash? What the? That is exactly. What is that? <laughs> in season five, when they started flash sideways, I was like, I looked at my mom. And this is one of the few shows that me and her watched to finish i was like i don't even know how to how to help you because up until that point whenever they would drop a plot point i would remember from season one or two this is calling back to that and i was holding my mom's hand so then when they did that she goes what are they doing and i'm like i think that was a flash sideways what's that i have no idea what that was well you know the flash right well when he gets (laughs) upset he gets sideways you ever heard that term don't get sideways on me now Okay, uh, the next one is Parks and Rec versus Sex in the City. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sex uh, in the City. Because <laughs> that's got six. <laughs> okay, so uh, Emar would show me episodes of Parks and Rec. It is an entertaining show, but it is one of these shows that if, like what I had been exposed to did not compel me to want to go back and fill in what I had missed. And I saw some pretty funny stuff in Parks and Rec. Sarah would show me when we were marching through Sex in the City, and I'd be like, wait, so what's going to happen now? Or something? And Or there'd be a plot point that I'd be like, we need to get through this because I wanted to see the movie. You had and seen the movie before you saw the series. Oh, that's right. I had seen the movie, loved the movie, and then when me and her started dating, I was like, I want to see the show because I never had a reason to go back and watch it. And I was excited because I was like, there's a second movie. I need to get through this, see the movie again, and then watch part two. <laughs> to this day, I have never been compelled to go out of my way to watch Parks and Rec. I feel you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're still going to say Parks and Rec? I am still going to vote for Parks and Rec. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh, two to one, Sex in the City. Now we've got the Big Bang Theory versus Dexter. Because Big Bang Theory is so lighthearted, <laughs> yeah. and you have multiple personalities, uh-huh. whereas you have very dark and a serial killer and a sociopath because he doesn't really know how to love. Clearly, look at that ending. No, the writers didn't know how to. They didn't know how to send off. <laughs> Sounds like the Big Bang Theory wins this. <laughs> one. I could drop in at any time for the Big Bang Theory and like what I've seen. I don't know if I've ever seen an episode that I was just like, what the hell are you guys thinking? When I started watching Dexter, I fell in love with the first season. I want to say I got through the second season. And is the third season when they introduced the Hispanic cop? 
the guy that was also in Sons of Anarchy that ran that prostitution thing or the yeah. escorts. Okay. When Nero. he came in mm-hmm. in season three of Dexter, I got like four episodes in. I was like, I'm done. Because they went from such a high from season two to just pissing me off in season three. And I never thought of ever going back. Mm. And I'm going to have to vote Big Bang Theory. I vote Big Bang. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after that, we've got The Walking Dead versus Arrested Development. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Looks like The Walking Dead's dead. Oh my god. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff to defend here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, How many seasons of The Walking Dead? We are in season 10. Wow, so eight Compared shits. to four? Eight shit seasons? <laughs> They, five, they, five. They, they weren't they weren't shit okay they, these people have gone through a lot all right they they survived the apocalypse they met the governor and then they <laughs> met negan that which woof man that was a huge war and now they're involved with the whisperers they're fucking crazy they like they whisper in the yeah okay arrested development <laughs> <laughs> arrested development bro <laughs> Uh, now you know, I was about to fight Walking Dead for you. You were going to be- fight for me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what were you going to say? Because <laughs> as much as I love Arrested Development, it took a long break, mm-hmm. a long hiatus, right? So Walking Dead, to give credit where it's due, their makeup is phenomenal. Oh yeah, they've and only their, gotten better. The casting is great. And I guess I also want to defend it because I like the comic book so much. Mm-hmm. And so they're trying to base it off the comic book. So I'll say Walking Dead. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, did The Walking Dead just win? No, you vo- you voted Arrested. Oh. I think, well, well, no, I, think I was going to because... vote Walking Dead, but I got outvoted, so I was like, fuck. I okay. say Walking Dead. Wait, no, okay. So does that mean Walking Dead wins? Yes. Over Arrested Development? Because I know you want to pick it. You're just saying, oh, Arrested Development wins because I know what y'all are going to pick. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, y'all... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't think Walking Dead's going to go very far in this thing because there's a lot of people that don't like this show. I know. You know. It's actually shocking to me that they're able to support spinoff series and a trilogy of movies that are upcoming still have this show going when so many people don't watch the show. Yeah. I, I, I don't know where the people are. I wish I was with them because, you know, I can have conversations with them. Now, I mean, Arrested Development, it's a funny show. Yeah, what little but I've seen is an, funny. It's an acquired taste, though. So should I cross out Arrested D and put Walking Dead? Well, you're gonna have a lot of people pissed off at you. I, I, I mean, no, I mean, I don't want people pissed off at me. I could leave the, I could leave Arrested about it because a lot of people know that The Walking Dead was gold and literally went to shit. And I think a majority of those people probably dropped off around season three, before, <laughs> or before. I pushed it. Uh, next up, we've got Family Guy versus The X Files. So, Oof. are you into a monster of the week? Or are you into drop-in, drop-out comedy of a cartoon? (laughs) They just take it so far sometimes. Remember that Waldo little clip I played for you guys? Oh, yeah. Dude, just stuff like that. Instead of asking, where's Waldo? They should have been asking, how is Waldo? Yeah. (laughs) Or like little, just clips of like Golden Girls or shows from back in the day. Yeah. Like where the, the, the male in the show is like overwhelming or he starts to get physical or he, he he his tone gets too high and then he ends up hitting the woman yeah and then like it, they kind of stop and they're like oh this kind of went too far you know like stuff like that and then they laugh about it like <laughs> just they go too far and i, I love it i 100 I love it okay uh i do like both of these shows uh family guy would fill more time in these desperate times uh, X Files can be a bit confusing in terms of lore and where things happen and all that sort of stuff. I don't like that they're going head to head right now. <laughs> uh, Sarah, where would you? You probably go Family Guy, right? Yeah. Never watching anything of the X Files. <laughs> wow. All right, there we go. Family Guy for the win. Sorry, honey. I know my. I fought. Sh- I fought one show for you. <laughs> And you still left me high and dry. Uh, well, yeah, people are going to be pissed off. Who cares? <laughs> it's what we're voting, not them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, man. This one's going to be tough for me. We got Grace and Frankie versus Veronica Mars. Oh. <laughs> I still wouldn't watch Veronica Mars today, so I'll go with Grace. You're going to go with Grace and Frankie? Grace and Frankie, yeah. God, I think I just have so much nostalgia for Veronica Mars. That. She's pretty. 
you know, that was probably you it. like and girls you, like that though. Yeah, and the big. I mean, that's partly why I watched. Um, though you only love one now. Buffy Taylor Swift. So Buffy, you couldn't even say one. You said two names. <laughs> At the time when I was watching Buffy, and then I saw Veronica Mars, I was like, oh, they're both spunky. They're like both them. blonde. They're both. <laughs> they both kick ass. They're both. Well, no, Buffy was not smart. She was actually pretty ditzy, but she was physically like she took down the bad guys. If Avril Lavigne had a show, I think that would be your favorite It would have been Buffy. Yeah. <laughs> she would have been a great Buffy. Uh, I'm going to vote Veronica Mars. Sarah, <laughs> since I'm the only one that's seen Veronica Mars. <laughs> you're gonna well, vote. from the little bit I saw in season four, yeah, it was okay. It was okay. But Grace and Frankie. Grace and Frankie. Sorry, Grace, honey. Yeah. <laughs> G and F. <laughs> okay. So next up, we've got Sons of Anarchy versus The Forensic Files. <laughs> <laughs> this one I won't be hurt. I know that Sons of Chaos was uh, definitely popular. So I think the only thing that bothered me was so many times in an episode, it should have been on HBO or Netflix or something, where they could have just said fuck. Because oh, yeah. instead of that, they will say shit or Jesus Christ every single sentence almost <laughs> it's like just let these poor folks say fuck like that's what they would say in reality uh-huh. <laughs> you know the walking just, dead f- suffers from that too man just it makes AMC. it more real how are you in the zombie apocalypse and you've never dropped an f-bomb how for real especially when negan came if there was ever a time for an f-bomb it was the episodes when they introduced negan mm-hmm. come on yeah. <laughs> so, do we like vigilante justice, or do we like the good guys catching the baddies in a detective way? <laughs> I'm gonna go with forensic files. Okay. I think I would too. Oh my god! It catches wow. it. Sometimes it, it you're okay. watching it and you kind of get freaked out. Like I like true crime, and yeah, that's a show I could get easily get into. Whereas Sons of Anarchy, I really had to grow to love it. Yeah. Because I, I even to this day, I still think. It's these old farts in a motorcycle gang, like trying to be cool. <laughs> this is why I didn't watch it. And then poor Jax being the youngest because his dad was involved. It's just like. Ugh. And here's the thing. I don't really care for forensic files, but like I will avoid it like the plague on a TV guide. Mm-hmm. But if I walk in a room and someone's watching it, I'm finishing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so weird about that. That says something. And you, you knew going into Sons of Anarchy, like you would be on the fence about it. Mm-hmm. Like you had, to, I went into Sons of Anarchy knowing I was going to love it mm-hmm. because I've always admired motorcycles and I've, I've liked the way they look like the, the style that they dress. I've always thought that's really cool. And I've always just thought the leather vest was just badass. Mm-hmm. So when I was like, Oh, this is a show about tough guys riding hogs being badasses. And it's got Ron fucking Perlman? I'm in. They're fucking old, though. <laughs> but I saw Hellboy, <laughs> and I just had to be part of it. No. Did you watch the movie Wild Hogs? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I watched it with my dad, and I thought it was mildly hilarious. <laughs> I knew it. He fucking, like, his sides were splitting. But I was like, okay, I can see the appeal. It's kind of funny. But, hmm. Okay. Forensic Files beats Sons of Anarchy. Wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now, I will say also, if I were to also see it on TV Guide, I'd skip it too. Yeah. It would have to be on TV already. But it's like a black hole. Once yeah. you fall into its orbit, like that event horizon, you ain't getting out. And lastly, in round one, we've got The Office versus Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I have been like not mentioning The Office because I thought we were going to talk about the communal stuff. Oh, okay. I did. Oh, yeah, the about honorable that. mentions. Or that. Shoot. So, but now that you've mentioned it, yeah. Uh, for those the, of you who know me, the office would be number one. Yeah. So we had one communal pick, and it was going to be the office because it's it's the one show that all of us have watched and all of us love, and so now we're gonna throw it into this tournament and see how does it snack up when you have to pick another show that you love. Versus The Office. So The Office is going against Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, hands down, oh, Office. Oh my gosh. That sucks for you. I, but... I have lost I have lost The X-Files, X-Files, The Walking Dead, Lost. I think I lost everything. <laughs> yeah, there's Buffy. Uh, Veronica, Mars. Veronica Mars. X-Files, Walking Dead. I'm gone in the first round. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Oh, man. Sorry, Buffy. 
I mean, I would have voted for her, but God damn it. Yeah. Okay. So the office wins. The office helped encourage me to propose to you. I have Who's to pick a, it. Yeah. I'm kind of, this is kind of like a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't put the office in there. Oh man. Well, I don't know, man. It's going to go up against some tough competition in these uh, yeah. next round. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, let's go ahead and get through our honorable mentions uh, before we go any further. Uh, the honorable mentions that I had that I didn't put into this tournament were the Ninja Turtles from 2012. That was the Nickelodeon computer animated series. Fox's Firefly, which only had one season and one movie. Uh, ABC for two seasons had Dirty Sexy Money. Disney Plus's The Mandalorian. Uh, what is it? I think the three seasons of Cobra Kai on YouTube Red. Hell yeah. And then Game of Thrones. The Thrones. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sarah, there you go. What were yours? <laughs> Marvelous Miss Maisel. Uh huh. Divorce. Mm-hmm. And New Girl. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and Manuel? I had the Power Rangers, obviously, and uh, Full House slash Fuller House. And believe it or not, this is what kind of my, <laughs> Judge Judy. <laughs> Hey, I love listening to that old lady verbally abuse everybody. Everybody. When but you... she is borderline Maury and Steve Wilkos, which I used to watch Steve Wilkos. Wow. <laughs> if you sit down, it's going to get your attention. She does get my attention because the way she talks and she don't take no shit. Well, even like the ones that think that they're okay now, man, she's now on my side. It's without cursing, verbally abusing everybody. Yeah. She makes you feel. She makes you feel small. Yeah. She really has a gift of making you feel stupid and but, really small. Yeah. This just sums up her attitude. I'm showing them a, a gift. <laughs> a gift that I'll show share later on. And Twitter. she's like, hurry up, look yeah. at the time. Like for Let's whatever go. reason, right? But this kind of sums up like, hey. Hurry up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh round two of the King of the Stream tournament will see Sex and the City versus Golden Girls. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no. I think this is where Golden Girls stops. <laughs> the bus stops here. Uh, I'm gonna personally have to go with uh, with Sex in the City Sex only the city. only because I can vouch that I have seen more of it, so it has a more effect on me. Yeah, I've seen more of it. I like it. I'm gonna vote Sex in the City. Manual. Sex in the City. Sometimes legends have to rest. <laughs> And Sarah, Same. you're going to go with Sex and the City? I think I've seen Sex and the City more than Golden Girls. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, now we've got The Big Bang Theory versus Arrested Development. Dang. I think personally I'm going to have to vote Big Bang only because I do want to someday finish it. I just want to say one line from Arrested Development. Okay. Remember the son I told you that he, the, uh, Job didn't know about? Yeah. It's just the narrator makes the best, like, it's the perfect timing, man. He goes, he tells his brother Michael, who's trying to keep the family together, he goes, Michael, if I had a son, and the narrator goes, he does. (laughs) (laughs) But he doesn't hear whatever, and it's like, oh my gosh, that's right, he does. Yeah. Just like, that kind of stuff tickles me to no end. (laughs) I go with Big Bang. I'm going to vote Big Bang. Arrested. Okay, Big Bang. And I love the Big Bang. (laughs) Okay, the next one is Grace and Frankie versus Family Guy. Grace and Frankie, all the way. Now, I think I'm going to have to vote Grace and Frankie only because I think you can get an overload of Family Guy. Mm-hmm. I think it. I think at some point that humor grinds your patience and your tolerance level down and you're just like, I need to, decom- I need to decompress. <laughs> it's, it's too much of the same. Every episode is like a relentless assault of stupidity on your senses. You do have to take a break. Yeah. And uh, that's not a good reason to vote otherwise. But um, <laughs> I still will vote for Family Guy. I mean, it is a very watchable show. But I think at some point, um, Blue, sensible adults would be like, I need to see like real people. Like, Blue Well just whispered to me he's going to slash your tires. Wow. I told him not to. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for defending me. Uh, the last one in round two is Forensic Files versus The Office. <gasps> office. <laughs> the Office. <laughs> uh, so Forensic Files in The Office. I would say the, I, I avoid <laughs> Forensic Files. I do not avoid The Office. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, okay. So unanimous The Office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. So now we're in round three. We're in the final four. And we've got 
The Big Bang Theory versus Sex and the City. Sex and the Big City. Big Bang Theory. Wow. Y'all gonna leave it up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I do find joy out of both of these, but in these trying times, I think for maybe longevity's sake and more hours to be filled. <laughs> He's readjusting in his chair. To I think I'm gonna have to go with Big Bang Theory. <laughs> no. He's unprepared to deliver bad news. No. He's moving left and right in his chair, readjusting. But Sex and the City up. are. <laughs> <laughs> hour long no they're 30 minutes yeah you get a lot of it mm-hmm. and then you have two movies that is true but the second movie does stretch it does they, they so reach. you can skip it yeah like there was a plot point in there that just happened and i'm like wait you're on the other side of the world and this dude that you just so happen to know happens to be in this town happens Ooh. to i'm like come on and it's it was one of her big loves it's just like no it's so yeah. far-fetched and also you know that whole thing with big wanting to marry her not wanting to marry her and then the i think there was a what happened in was it in the show or the movie where i was like they're gonna have to really do something to redeem him because it was i had in the show i had completely turned on him like i was just like i'm done with you i fucking hate you carrie you need to go with somebody else yeah it was in the show yeah and then uh, did they do something stupid with him in the movie the first one he yeah, left her he, in the street yeah and he i got oh, cold feet and i just if there was a phone book in front of me, I'd have ripped it in half. <laughs> wow. <laughs> On their wedding day, he got cold feet. And see, but that then he a... had the nerve to turn around and say, and say, I was scared, but I'm ready now. It's like, <laughs> I'm so fucking glad you are. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. guess what? I'm not. Dang. So big bang over sex in the city. When? <laughs> and so now we've got Grace and Frankie versus The Office. <gasps> yeah. That's what happens in a tournament. This is fucked up. The, uh, <laughs> the office. No. Oh man, man, oh man. No. Toby, why are you the way that you are? <laughs> Every time I try to do something fun, you make it not that no. way. I so hate hard. everything about what you choose to be. Yeah. He hates Toby. He hates Toby he so hates much. He hates him with every fiber of his being. And then he turned Andy against him. <laughs> <laughs> so Grace and Frankie or The Office. Damn it. Both of which are available on Netflix. Yes. I mean, <laughs> it's like we're being sponsored. When, it, when it's all said and done, I mean, you could just you could really just go watch both of these shows. I mean, that's the beauty of this. This is just for fun, but still. I know you can go watch all ten, all nine seasons of The Walking Dead right now on Netflix. <laughs> I thought the people in the quarter semifinals got deleted from Netflix. Oh, that would be a cruel, cruel joke. That'd be horrible. If the powers that be heard what we were doing, yeah, and we're like, like, oh, okay, we'll show we'll you. Say goodbye. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go office. I really so like Sarah. Too. I can see it. You can see that. Wow. Okay. It so. gave me the courage to propose to you. I got to keep going with that. Grace and Frankie would never do that for me. I guess Because all that Grace and Frankie would do is <laughs> either I have to be worried that you're going to become gay and leave me for another man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Or wow. I'd be like one of the daughters who agrees to be forever engaged to her now fiance because she doesn't want that ever. She never wants that kind of commitment. Okay. And there was a character in there that is, she agreed that her man would be a sperm donor to a lesbian couple. Yes. And she had to, she didn't want to, but she had to get around that. Right. And so, yeah, that's another weird scenario that could possibly happen. No. In the world of Grace and Frankie. Yeah. Oh, I was like, in your world? <laughs> no. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, if if a lesbian couple. Yeah, come, I don't have kids yet, but you're doning to. If a lesbian couple was like, we want you to be baby daddy, I'd be like, do I be honored? Do it like, because that's a big, that's a big thing. You know, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. There would be a lot of um, soul searching for me. Like, do I help them have a child, which would be amazing for them. What a, but you Sarah know. would be fucking living. Now, okay. So if I was like the daughter in the show, yeah, she doesn't want kids. She yeah. doesn't ever want to be married. She barely wants to take care of a dog that she has. Yeah. I'd probably be like, okay, fine. But it'll just be kind of weird though. So I, I don't know. <laughs> having it's a double-edged half a little, sword. Having a half little niscus running around. Yeah. Because she knows that he wants a family so bad. Yeah. So I think that's kind of where she's like, 
And he could partly be fulfilled by helping someone have a family. Right. Yeah. That's, that's got a way on you, too. Nah, that's weird. Because that is not your kid. That will not be your kid. Well, I know that. But, like, you know you helped make that happen. Mm. But he would want to be involved. Yeah, Which, I think they wanted him to be involved, too, right? Not, yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, they wanted him to be involved. That is not how this is supposed to work. <laughs> I mean, if you just keep it. I mean, You're a donor. Yeah. Like that's, that's it. And that's where it ends. There's Not no like, ties to well, it. Well, your, your dad lives across the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I be a part of my dad's life? He is my dad. No, what we were supposed to be for us. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's just weird. It's weird. So yeah, The Office. The Office. Okay. So in the final round of the King of the Stream tournament, we got the Big Bang Theory versus The Office. The Office, hands down. Wow. Really? Well, for you, yeah. <laughs> I think about that's what she said, and yeah. I think about Bazinga. Uh huh. You know, and that the, they all had they they had huge success, both of them. Yeah. I'm obviously going to choose The Office. <laughs> that's my number one, hands down. Was there ever a show that we could have put in here that would have stood toe to toe with The Office and had a fighting chance? I mean, it, it destroyed my Buffy. Took down Forensic Files. And then the only real challenge it had was Grace Frankie. It, yeah. <laughs> that randomizer kind of gave this this thing a... Well, no. If it had gone against The Walking Dead, it would have easily crushed The Walking Dead. Totally. <laughs> it would have been hard to do the Big Bang in the first round versus The Office. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah. They just, by luck, they got put at opposite ends of the, of the bracket. So I guess I'm going to vote for The Office. Mm-hmm. Uh, by virtue of me seeing that whole series to completion at least twice, I'm going to have to go with The Office. Mm -hmm. Maybe we uh, should go and watch the British version of The Office. Like oh, a wow. cafe disco. <laughs> no, Kevin, not even close. <laughs> Let's call it Disco Cafe. <laughs> What's nice about The Office is you get all these different intelligent levels. If there really is any intelligence there, like Big Bang Theory, because they're just overtly smart. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, a funny thing about the Big Bang Theory is that as smart as these people are and the big words that they use, you never feel dumb listening to them talk amongst themselves. Some mm -hmm. people watching it do. Really? That's why they don't like it. I, I've met people that are like, no, you get it? I'm like, get get it? What? Yeah. I yeah, mean, no, some people do. Yeah? Okay. I've never met anyone that felt stupid watching the show. It's just like, it's funny how these guys can be so smart and be so dumb. Well, you you have Penny translating or asking them to translate it half the time. So yeah. you should be good. <laughs> yeah. For, for anyone that is, you know, not on that level. I mean, that Penny is your in. Yeah. She, but you know. also you can see some glaring holes. Like whenever they're like trying to do something so easy, but they do it so scientifically they do it scientific overdone thing. they're like why don't you just do this oh and then that's funny you know <laughs> it's because they're see. scientists they have to cover everything and yeah. so they you know meticulously break down every scenario of their lives and yeah, yeah. That, that leads to comedy when i quoted kevin saying the cafe disco i think he said uh disco cafe and then michael said cafe disco and i said it backwards <laughs> it didn't sit right with me not letting people know <laughs> oh okay that was fun yeah <laughs> you know, a lot of people. I know, I already said this already. I texted you guys about the show that, but people were asking for that second show. And then today was like, when does this drop? Like they're already even just for the regular episode. We're like, where is this at? I mean, the episodes drop every Thursday. That that was, yeah, that's what I Javier was asking me today. I mean, he it's always like, been that way, right? Yeah. And so I even like looked up today. I was like, yeah, today we record. And so I was like, Thursday. But people yeah. are wondering where these episodes are at. I don't know if we can do another Corona episode. I mean, there's only so much you can talk about. Well, there's an update to the stores because we're in different stages as we go. Like, what happens at the store? What happens like? And what the new the news is really? They're they're really. I don't like how they're trying to like scare you to like. But that's they what they always do. Yeah, but this is extreme because people. This is real. Like people are fearing for their lives. Versus like. Chocolate was once good for you. Now it's not. Find out how it could give you cancer after this. You know? Like, okay. <laughs> uh, some quickies right here. Did you know that there was a butthole cut of the movie Cats and fans want to see it? Yeah, I heard about that. You heard about that? Did you? Mm -hmm. 
Only through you. Oh, okay. So apparently early on in the development of the Cats movie, you know, the live action CG monstrosity that it was, at some point an animator was told, put in the buttholes. So they did. And then later on in the development, they hired someone else to come and digitally remove the buttholes, which <laughs> means that there's probably a cut of the movie out there somewhere where there's buttholes on all the cats. And the fans are like, why can't you just show us that? I mean, we want cats, the buttholes. That buttholes. <laughs> out of everything that you fixed in the CG of cats, why not just go all the way, just give us the buttholes? Help me understand here for the people who don't know more about this movie. This is actual characters. I mean, actual actors at, yeah. dressed up as cats, right? No. They no. they did CG. They just voice. They, they were on set acting. They were wearing in, green suits. Yeah. And then the animators oh. just did it. Did they walk like cats or people? They were prancing around. Yeah. What does that mean? Because that could be in two legs or four legs. Um, I would imagine two because there's a lot of dancing involved. Yeah. So then why the buttholes? Why were they animated in there in the first place? None of this would be happening had they just originally been like, let's animate these characters and not take that extra step of putting in a butthole. But they did originally. And of course. And then they went out of their way to take it out. And, of course, somebody found out about it and was like, we want the buttholes. Why are you depriving us? I, you know, I think fans now are just like, like, I would watch this movie if there were buttholes on there because there's no way they're going to get me to watch this movie. This movie looks awful. But if I'm going to sit through something so ugly and dumb, at least I need to see buttholes to get me to laugh at how absurd this whole thing is. What is Cats about? I have no clue. I play the movie and you just hear the, the, the soundtrack in the background is just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, someone coughing up a hairball? I'm watching cats. <laughs> Sarah, would you watch this movie if there were buttholes in it? No. Okay. <laughs> you got a fighting chance if you put the buttholes in with me. What about you? <laughs> Shit. No. <laughs> uh, while we were gone in the past week, Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie, passed $145 million at the domestic box office, surpassing to take a Pikachu of $144 million and has become the highest grossing video game movie ever. I thought people weren't going to the movies. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Guys, no go to the movies God, right now. Out, you know? Damn. Not and right on April 3rd, Disney's Pixar's Onward will be available on Disney Plus, And there is speculation that Black Widow might even premiere on Disney Plus as well. So there you go. Oh, man. Do you heard, you heard Tom Holland has it? No, I did not. It's starting that. to feel staged, like like <laughs> like it might like be people, a cool thing to do. People want to believe that this is happening, and then and then all of these people are going to be okay. Queen Elizabeth, apparently, there's rumors that she has it. Oh, I'm I like, think, if, she if she survives, she like, if she no. got it, she's probably done for. And so when she doesn't die, then what? <laughs> <laughs> then she's literally meant to know. be queen forever yeah. because <laughs> poor uh, William. Or what's his name? Yeah. Prince Charles? Charles? Or, there's a he'll William be, and a Charles. He'll never be king. Bless her heart. That's right. They're waiting. <laughs> God, they're waiting for her to go so he could be king for maybe two years, then die, and then it's Prince William. Wow. God damn. Because I mean, now Harry's out of the picture. Can't you just step down at some point? She doesn't want to. This is like the Pope, man. Once you're in, you're yeah. in. You're in it for the long haul. Unless you're Pope Benedict. The palace is not even hers. She's just residing in there. Because she's the queen. So, just because she can. Whose is it? It's the government's. It's not even hers anymore. Well, isn't she like side by side with the government? Not quite. <laughs> I've always wondered, like, they have a prime minister and then they have the queen. So, like, but, what the, but the queen actually has to okay the prime minister too. I don't know. But she's not taking care of the ca- or, uh, the palace like you think royalty would is the government who's taking care of the upkeep of the place yeah because other than that it's being run down but okay so let's say that maybe it's one of those things where you're the ceo ceo but you want a coo and and you also sometimes are the ceo and now like i'm just gonna be the the uh the chairman i'm not gonna be the ceo i need someone else running this maybe the queen allowed that oh lucky then yeah. <laughs> so, you know, the honorable thing would be to step down. Mm-hmm. But then no. what do I do? I'm the queen. So what? Just live your life in peace for a little bit. I, I, I am in peace. Someone else is doing my job. No, no. Wow. It's just it's it's an ego. 
I see total ego from it. Sorry. All right. She's just keeping tradition. <laughs> Maybe. Just let the man be a king, okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves that. He's going bald already. I know. He's so old. Just let him have his moment. You've been you've been queen for how long? Eighty fucking years. You he, can step down. He becomes king and has a heart attack. I know. But Sarah, what a queen! You know, God save the queen. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Queen. I mean, if she survives, if she gets corona and she survives, I'm gonna say, God save the queen. Right. I will be convinced. <laughs> and then I'll be like, Hey, Trump. You know, balls in your court. Can you meet or beat what she did? Let's see. <laughs> Dude, there's some memes where they replace his face on her body. Oh, Have you seen those? And it looks exactly the same. It just looks like... uncanny. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh. That's awful. It, it is. And I'm like, who? You know that dumb face he does when he's serious? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, dude, perfect. If I can get past the fact that his skin is so orange, yeah, he makes dumb faces. Yeah. So, his skin is so orange, but the bags under his eyes are so white. Yeah. Well, that's because yeah, yeah. he has those. He puts the cobble, he, he, the the glasses on while he gets suntan. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we ride off into the sunset? I'm hungry. You're hungry. I'm what, hungry too. What, I'm hungry too. What uh, <laughs> what movie? What what show would you put in the background for sex? <laughs> None of the shows that I pick because I'd be distracted, and I'd probably like my, my focus would be like, oh, this is the part. I'm where... sorry, but can I say? <laughs> say it. Oh, I guess since it's both of you. <laughs> No, I I suggest nothing because from one of the times sports was on, <laughs> <laughs> it was either wrestling or sports. It was sports related. Oh and I'm thinking this is going to be fun. <laughs> I have Did to... it feel different? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't ask me that. Like if the t- wow. <laughs> like if the team is winning, then it's better. <laughs> <laughs> no! And then at their belly, he's like, oh. He's at the 45, he's at the 55, he's at oh, the 60. Yeah. Oh my god. No, I don't know. But on more than one occasion, a sport has been on and, you know, things got lit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god. But it's, a, it's very much a distraction. It's just, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, at, it, it's, it at my core, I'm a guy. <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> you know, when things get lit, you know, you gotta have some sort of background Motherfucker noise. catches it on the 10 and runs it back all the way, baby. This has never been done before. <laughs> Sarah likes sports then, no? No, I don't. <laughs> because it's a, you ne- it's never a sure thing. A- anything can it's happen. It's never, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> oh, God. Is there anything that, like, oh, my God. I get distracted very easily. So easy. <laughs> That's why nothing needs to be on. <laughs> Not even the cats. They have to be in a different room. Because <laughs> sometimes I just feel they're judging me. <laughs> <laughs> More so than all the, what they already do. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah, all oh, eyes God. on you. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Is there anything that you would watch? God, mm. my face hurts. <laughs> I feel like I'm able to separate it. Like, I would do it for the noise, but, yeah. you know, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I could sleep with noise, too, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. You're a better man than me. <laughs> um. All right, so next week, we're probably just going to have a regular ho-hum episode and fill you in on our past week and if we haven't killed each other yet for being in quarantine for so long. We won't. <laughs> Till next time, this has been a six sad cast. His name was Manuel. My name was Nick. Her name was Sarah. Bye. Bye. Coronavirus. No. <laughs> 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 <laughs>